We're up to ex last example, our, our more challenging one now. And this is calculating the perimeter of what's called a composite shape. It's called composite because it's composed of more than one type of shape. You can see we've kind of got like a, looks like a, a rectangle with half a circle attached to the side of it. And it's really important to be able to do these because not all shapes are uh, rectangles, triangles, circles, and so forth. You, you, in real life, you're going to um, be faced with odd shapes. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, let's. Sometimes it helps to split it into two sections, and I think it might help a little bit with this one. I'm going to draw a dotted line down here, just to split off this circle, and I'm going to redraw. Um, I'll tap something by accident. Um, I'm going to redraw my half circle over here. Okay, not the best drawing, but, but I've done the best I can. And I'm actually really interested to know how long this dotted line is. And we can do that by looking at our 4.2 and our 1.5. 4.2 minus 1.5 is 2.7. So this dotted line must be 2.7 centimeters because 2.7 plus 1.5 will give you the same as 4.2. Alright, so what is the distance from the middle to the edge of the circle? Because that's really important because whenever we find um, the length around curved objects, it's really important to know what the radius is. Now if it's 2.7 all the way down, then the radius must be half of 2.7 or 2.7 divided by 2, which is 1.35. Okay. Now notice that we're trying to calculate this correct to two decimal places. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our circumference formula, which is 2 pi r, and because it's really obvious that this is half of a circle, we know that we just got to put half out the front here. All right now, I don't know why I'm, I'm writing in red now. Anyway, no matter. So we've got half times 2 times pi times r, r being 1.35. All right, so let's work that out in the calculator. Half times 2 times pi times 1.35, which to two decimal places is 4.24 centimeters. All right. So let's come over here and we've figured out, actually I'll do it in red, that the distance around the curved part is 4.24 centimetres. Alright, so we've almost got all our sections of our shape. We've got this section, we've got our 1.5, our 2 and our 4.2. What about this bottom piece? Well, this bottom piece matches up with the two above, so this has got to be two centimeters, which means that we've got all the information we need. Perimeter will be two plus 1.5, we're just adding all the sides together, plus 4.24 plus two plus 4.2. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides, one, two, three, four, five sides that we're adding up. Let's see what we get. Take me a little while to work this out. So we've got four, two plus two plus four point two plus one point five plus four point two four, and I get thirteen point nine four centimeters for our total perimeter.